So I finally received the cargo package that I ordered together with the Electric XP 3.0 back in November. They had some manufacturing delays, I believe. But let's see what's in the box. It's a uh, it's a uh, quite a bit heavier than I had expected, actually. All right. So that's it. Appears to be the front rack. Let's look at the instructions. Oh, there's actually extensions for the headlight, it looks like. Interesting. And the, the hardware, a couple of zip ties. And then this is the, it's, oh, this is a basket that goes on the front rack, I see. That makes, that makes more sense. I thought uh, it was going to be just the, the front rack without a basket, but yeah, that makes more sense. And then this is the large... Whoa! The large basket in the back. So the max weight for the front rack is 30 pounds, and for the rear rack, 75 pounds. That's a good amount of weight. But yeah, because there's there's three pieces, that's why it's heavier than I expected. I thought the front basket would mount directly to the front mounting bolts, but three separate pieces. Okay. So for the front uh, rack, first step is to remove the headlight, which is a five millimeter bolt right here. And it does mention the fender comes off fender comes off when you remove this light then you're supposed to uh, mount the fender back on now this plastic spacer in the back makes it a little bit tricky because you want to make sure it stays inside the, the slot to allow you to tighten the, the bolt through it yeah, the thread when aligned properly goes in nice and easy, so don't force anything. So the connector it's referring to, I believe, is this one. Okay, gotta pull on it a little bit, not too bad. So this cable, this cable wrap, you can make it looser by turning it clockwise here at the bottom, and that sh should help us squeeze out this uh, this connector. There we go. Now the light is completely loose. Let's remove the bolts. Yeah, so this hook here helps push the harness back and keeps it in position. I think I'm going to leave this plastic bit on, which will provide some additional protection for the harness. It doesn't look great, but I think I'll leave it on for now. Snugging them down in a crisscross pattern. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Reinstall the headlight, turning it upside down, and attaching it to the insertion hole at the front bottom of the front rack. Upside down. Yep, 
Yeah, so this is um, like a nylock nut. So you need to have a small wrench or at least pliers to hold it while you tighten this. Okay, so I'm holding the nut in the back as I tighten the, the headlight. Hold it, hold it with my knee here so it doesn't rotate when I tighten it. Yeah, but these, these fasteners in general feel a little bit too small to hold this amount of weight so far away from the fastening point. It's very hard to get these tight enough. It's definitely a, a design issue that needs to be improved. Man, just hoping this doesn't loosen and hit the tire, but we'll see. So I'm installing the longer the longer connection. I'm not sure why it includes two, but the short one the short one feels like it would be cutting it close. So we'll try the long one. And it says to run it between the suspension fork in the middle of the suspension fork which I'm not sure if I agree that that's the best routing but so on the second connector up here it's got an alignment alignment pin or and there's also arrows that kind of show you how you can align it now I zip tie them here and here. I think that should that should provide a good amount of uh, slack. But it feels like I'm gonna need another cable tie for the front here. I'll run one cable tie through here. There's a groove that the cable sits in. Let's uh, get this started. Pretty solid here. Yeah, so I'm gonna add another cable tie right here. Make sure this wire doesn't hit the tire, and to keep these, this connector from being stressed. Hopefully, it doesn't interfere with the small basket up front. Trimming all these cable ties. Okay, so that looks like that's the, the front rack mounted. So finishing up the installation of the, the full cargo package, all the racks on the Electric XV 3.0. Uh, this step here does cause this cable to get caught when you turn all the way to the right. And then it kind of gets hung up on this little step here. So I don't know what the, a good long term solution is for that, but I'm just going to put in a piece of a small piece of gorilla tape to uh, smooth out that transition for now and I'll look for a, a better longer term solution later see if this this works but yeah that transition is not very smooth I'll have to look for a, a better long term solution there so a mistake I made was putting this cable tie here because that's what's not allowing this uh, to 
to sit flush, I think, so I'm gonna move this cable tie somewhere else that holds the lighting, the lighting harness. So I think I'll just, uh, I'll hold it against the front lighting bracket here. Now we're ready, I think, to mount the small rack in the front. Now, although the, the metal is still bent a little bit, it doesn't sit perfectly flush, but it doesn't take much force to get it to sit flush. And, the mon and there are two different size screws. I'm going to use the smaller ones, I think. Uh, I think the smaller ones are long enough. Uh, the bolts are not going in uh, easily by hand. I'm thinking there's a there's paint <laughs> there's paint in there, so I'm actually running the bolt through the threads a few times before I try to tighten anything down. The thread is pretty fine, so you have to be careful not to cross thread it. <laughs> Yeah, it does feel like there's paint, paint in the threads. You have to be careful here not to damage the harness with this bolt. So uh, make sure you move the harness to the side as you tighten this one down. Same thing with this one in the front. This one went right in. As did uh, this one. So it seems like just the two rear ones were either thread was not fully formed or the paint was uh, thick okay so now I'm gonna screw them screw them all out and put the rack on yeah so this front rack I think is a little bit trickier than any other element in the cargo package because of the you know the wiring how you have to route it uh, re reinstall the light in a different orientation and then you've got this issue here with the, making sure this is routed properly and putting uh, the new harness into the cable management. So that all takes a little bit of time. It's not too bad though. Yeah, I think it can go in either orientation. It's pretty much a, a square. It fits a little bit flusher. In worn orientation, it seems. Because the front one's going easier, I'm gonna hand, hand tighten those first. And there are long long bolts and short bolts. Uh, they're similar size, but I think either one works for this part. There's a few extra bolts in the kit. And part, some of the instructions says they're five millimeter. Others say they're four millimeters, I think, but they're, they are all four millimeter bolts. The tool that it comes with is very soft. I would use uh, some better tools. Even, uh, even your Harbor Freight tools will be better than what the kit comes with. I very quickly rounded off the, the four millimeter Allen that it comes with without even tightening things much. So don't, don't use the tool it came with unless they start including a, a better one. All right, I think we're done there. For some reason, I was thinking this whole racking system would turn with the with the front tire, but it doesn't. Front wheel, it it uh it stays facing forward, which makes a for an interesting uh, dynamic on the light. And also, if you're storing it, it might make it easier in some situations. Might make it trickier in others. So for the back, I have the passenger seat installed. I don't know. If the handlebars are going to be in the way, but I'm going to start by removing the seat. And it just has a couple of uh, plastic uh, plastic pieces here that hold it to the rear rack. So it already came with a uh, with four bolts here. So I don't think I have to use the ones in the kit. 
But the question is, is that handle going to be in the way? And I think the answer is going to be yes. Actually, no. So that makes it a lot easier because you can leave the handle and the passenger kit as part of the passenger kit. You can leave the pegs on and just quickly swap out the seat for the rack. That's very nice. And actually this handle could help you, you know, just as a strapping point for taller items. So I like that. You can mount it either in the long orientation or you can go wide. I think I'm gonna go for the the more narrow orientation to keep clearance around the bike high. But again, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit perfectly flush. It's uh it's uh it's warped somewhat. You know the the alignment during the welding isn't the best. Could be part of the reason why there was delays in getting this kit out. Maybe they had some uh, manufacturing quality control issues. Yeah, so this this rear rack was very straightforward to install. The front one, because of that support, you have to put you have to put on, or rather, this rear basket is easy to install. The front one, you got to put a rack on before you can put the basket on, and that rack is what's tricky. So the instructions are really only useful for that front rack. The baskets go on pretty straightforward. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to be notified of future content.